Hey guys, welcome back to Micah's Diary. How are you guys doing? I know that you guys haven't seen me on YouTube in a while discussing my IUI process, but I'm here almost a year later to let you guys know. Actually, it has passed it has passed a year since I did the IUI. I did it in June and it was very successful. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a little link up here for you. I'm so excited to talk about all the questions that you guys have asked me under all of my videos about the IUI success story. My son um, from the IUI is now about to be 10 months next week. If you guys haven't seen him, any of my vlogs, he is featuring on a lot of my vlogs and probably will be from now on, obviously. So without further ado, let's just get into the questions. How much was my significant other sperm count? Oh, he had a lot. He had 750 million. So his was very, very, very high. Um, he is 33 years old, so I don't know if that has a role in it, but he definitely had a high, high, high sperm count, so we didn't have any problem with that. Um, it only costed about $150 for him to uh, test it as well, so yeah, his count was, um, was a good, a good, a good count. I get questions about his motility. I think his motility was one to three, or like the turnover time was very fast with his um even after washing i think after washing he had a lot very concentrated even after the wash it was still high i think it went down to like 600 million but his sperm count was very 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 good um so that was really good when it came to you know washing it and stuff even after washing it like i said it was really good another question that i do get from people is about the actual process how long did it take so the process really took it was very 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 fast so if you guys don't know i expressed this in my other video that i don't have regular menstruals um because i do have pcos i also have insulin insulin resistance and i also um have a block tube so it's pretty hard for me to have a menstrual daily i mean monthly anyways so i did get a shot the day of the appointment to bring my menstrual no, I did not take Clomid. Um, I didn't have to take Clomid. They gave me Letrozole. They gave me Letrozole instead of Clomid. Um, but no, I did not have to take Clomid. The doctor also said Clomid has a, a percentage to make you have like twins or triplets. So I really didn't really care to have Clomid anyways. Um, another question that I did get, did I make any dietary or exercises? Like, did I do anything specific to make my IUI successful? No, I did not. I didn't. I literally just, only thing that I can say that I did was kind of take it easy on just being extra, extra active as far as walking and stuff like that. Um, but the doctor didn't really give me any instructions on what not to do. So, no, I didn't do any, I didn't change any eating habits or anything because it happened so fast. I didn't really have time to. It happened very, very, very fast. Literally, the day of the appointment, I took the shot, waited for my menstrual to come about 10 days later. We went back, I took an ACG shot, waited a couple days, two days, went in for the insemination and it happened very fast. But no, I did not change any eating, but I do recommend if you are on a, you know, kind of on the, if you are on the heavier side, um, I would say possibly try to lose weight before you do this because obviously your goal is to get pregnant. Um, but I didn't change anything. I didn't do anything different. I literally just did what I was supposed to do, took the shots and did everything. Another question was, uh, did I have to have progesterone? Yes, I did have progesterone. Once I got a positive and once they did the insemination, they did give me some suppositories that I had to insert uh, daily just in case the pregnancy was to try to fail because women with PCOS and insulin resistance, sometimes they have low progesterone. And I, they assumed that I had low progesterone. So I did take that and um, just to help the pregnancy be a little bit more successful. Another question is, does it hurt? No, it did not hurt. Some people say that you will, like the doctor itself said, himself said that, oh, you're gonna, you might feel a little bit cramping when I insert it or, it did not hurt whatsoever. I didn't feel anything. I just literally laid there um, with my legs kind of upward, like, you know, upwards. And I didn't feel not one cramp. It did not hurt. How many days was I supposed to wait until after? I was supposed to wait 14 days to test, but I knew that I was pregnant before 14 days. I knew that I was pregnant by like day 
seven honestly it was like day seven where I knew it because my energy just got really tired and I can just tell it was something different in my body so it did take about seven days for me to know but I did test on day 12 I tested um August 2nd so it was day 12 that I tested and it was a fat a uh, very big positive so another question that I do get a lot is did the ACG shot hurt and how did it affect me the ACG shot didn't hurt to me because I um, have done the ACG diet if you guys don't know what that is that's a low very low calorie 500 calorie diet that helps you lose fat daily basically and I used to do the injection so it didn't hurt I injected myself right in my tummy I just pinched it and injected it it didn't hurt the needle wasn't huge the needle wasn't big so I was kind of used to it and um, did I feel anything no I didn't feel anything no nothing unusual or yeah it was a high dose but I didn't feel anything so why did I need an ACG injection before um, it basically jump starts your ovulation um, like I said before I don't really ovulate that much because of my you know uh, my health um, but it basically starts your ovulation cycle like a perfect time before it's time for the us to for them to inject the sperm so once they inject the sperm and I'm ovulating we all know how that goes after the big fat question is did I was my pregnancy affected by doing it via IUI no it was not affected um, I did have my baby about two months early but it has nothing to do with IUI I did have gestational diabetes nothing to do with IUI so my question for my answer for that is no it did nothing affected it at all um, I get that question a lot and I, I get why I get why you would think that way because I used to think that way before I got the IUI like okay if I get this is my you know is it gonna be like a real pregnancy or is it going to be is my baby gonna come out with any new formalities like I had a lot of like brainy questions but no to answer your question nothing affected my IUI did not affect my child at all how much was my IUI so for the IUI itself it was about six hundred dollars for the IUI for the whole thing which is medication the suppositories um, the visits everything together was twelve hundred and fifty dollars and that literally is it I did not do IVF this is com this is completely different from IVF I solely did IUI and our total was literally twelve hundred and fifty dollars that's it that's everything included um, that's our, our wrap-up price when we were finished it was twelve hundred and fifty dollars amazing I know right next question is what I do IUI again absolutely and the reason why I say again is because I'm more than likely gonna have to do it again usually when you do IUI in the first place you're doing it because you need help having children I will go back to the same place Dr. Craig um, I think it was fertility treatment center and I also would definitely do it again to have my second child so that was all the questions if you guys want a part two let me know drop some more questions down in the comments and i will definitely do a part two for you guys thank you guys for watching the video and again if you have any more questions you guys can dm me or you can leave it down in the comments below and i definitely will do a part two so without further ado i'll see you guys in my next video